Uh, hi, I welcome you to my channel. In our video today, we are going to look at uh, the arbitrary constant. Let's take a ride. Oh, that's so beautiful. I hope you had seen the other videos. If you haven't seen them, you had better go back and check them out. Because without the background of what we had just done, it will be very difficult for you to understand this. Especially those uh, problems that have to do with differentiation or those tutorials on differentiation. Okay, so now, if let's say you have this function here, which is equal to y is equal to 2x squared plus a three. So when you ask to differentiate this, you will say dy dx is equal to you apply the power rule. So when you're applying the power rule, you drop this power here and multiply it by the coefficient here, which is a two. So two by two that will give you a four. Then after you've done that, you subtract a one from the power and that will leave you with one. When you differentiate a constant, the answer is zero. So zero plus anything is anything added to zero. Okay. So that is the answer. So now you've seen that we no longer have the constant here. So what we have is a derivative here. So now if you are asked to now integrate this, you do the opposite to what we have just done under differentiation. We'll say we are integrating this derivative here with respect to x. So now when you're integrating, what you do is, instead of subtracting one, you add a one to the power there. So you're gonna say plus one. So that would be now, since we have already brought in the, the integral sign showing that we are integrating. So this one will be four x, there will be a two there. And what you do on top is what you do at the bottom here. You add one plus one. So we're gonna have, one plus one, which is a two. You can further, you can further simplify these two. So we're gonna have plus c. That c is actually the constant whose value we don't know. In this case, we'll pretend we don't know what the constant was. We just take it that we haven't seen this here. Okay, so now when we divide two into four, that will give us two x squared plus a c. So c denotes that which was differentiated, which, which was a constant, and uh, it resulted in a zero. So this C is the very, very, very uh, reason why we are looking at this. It's the one that we call the arbitrary, arbitrary constant. So now how do you determine its value? That's what we're gonna, so now what we found here is we have actually used the derivative to determine the, the equation which was there or the function that was there initially. So y is equal to 2x squared plus a constant here, but here we only have a 3. So now, how do you determine the value of that c? So that's what I'm here to show you. But uh, before uh, I, I begin to break down things here and there, I urge you to subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you'll be able to trust this, uh, this channel. Oh, when I just drop a video, you get an alert. Okay, so let's look at the first one. So they're saying the gradient at any point on the curve is given by, so this is the derivative. Given that the curve passes through this point, so this is the x coordinate, that is the y coordinate. Find the equation of the curve. So we have to find something like this. We have the derivative like this one. So what we'll do is we'll say we are integrating that deri derivative for us to determine what was there in the first place. So that will be 3x minus 2. And this has to be integrated with respect to x. So now what it is is if you have, if let's say you have 2x, what we do is when you differentiate it, I'm taking you back to what we had covered. 
So here there is a one. The one will drop using the power rule. This will be actually multiplied by two, and we're gonna have a two x, and then we subtract a one from there. So that would be one minus one. So that will be two x uh, raised to the power zero. So now anything raised to the power zero, according to the laws of indices, equates to one. So the two will remain intact, but this x will become a one, and when you multiply two by one, that gives you a two. So you've seen that what we have here is a two so it has x raised to the power zero here let me write these props here that is three x minus two there is x here but it's raised to the power zero dx so when you're integrating what you do is you add the one to the power and whatever you do on top here is what you do at the bottom so equally here we will add zero plus oh here there is a one here rather one plus one and what you do is what you do even at the bottom one plus one okay so let me just rub out what i had written in the first place here so as to create enough space There we go. Okay, beautiful. So now, let's resolve this to the end. Okay, so now when we add one plus one, it will give us a two. So what we're going to have is three X raised to the power two over one plus one, that's a two. Then a minus, that will be 2x raised to the power 1, and then 0 plus 1, that's a 1. But we don't, we don't know the constant that was differentiated, and uh, it landed into a 0. Okay, it resulted in a 0. So here, we're going to have plus. We simply bring in c, which is the arbitrary constant. So now the question is, how do we now determine the value of c? That's a major question that we need to answer in this lesson. So I urge you to fasten your seat belts and uh, keep your eyes glued to the screen because I'm going to demonstrate how you have to do that. Okay, beautiful. So now what you're going to do here is you, you're going to bring in these values that you've been given, the point through which the curve is passing. So we are not, we're not going to write, we are not going to write the function that is what we are here to determine. 3x squared over 2 minus 2x minus 2x plus c. So it's incomplete until we happen to determine c. So for us to determine c, let's plug in the values that we've been given. This is the x coordinate, that's the y coordinate. Where there's y, we plug in a 1. Where there's x, we plug in negative 2. So what this one will now be re rewritten as 1 is equal to 3 x is negative 2 squared over 2 minus 2 x is uh, it's, 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 it's a negative 2 plus c. So we're going to say 1 is equal to, when you expand this, because it don't, don't rush into multiplying the number on the outside of the brackets by, by what's on the inside. First expand what's on the inside, that's negative 2 times negative 2, that gives us a 4, positive 4. So it will be 3 times 4 over 2 minus negative 2 times negative 2 that gives us positive 4 then plus c so this one will give us a 12 that will be 1 is equal to 3 times 4 that's a 12 then we divide 2 into 12 that gives us uh, 6 6 plus 4 plus c these two are like terms, so we can add them. 
So when we add them, we're going to have a 10. So let me write this on top here. We're going to have 1 is equal to 6 plus 4. That's a 10. Then plus C. From here, we get rid of a 10 by bringing in, in its additive inverse. Even this side, we do the same. So now that would be a 0. 10 minus 10, that's a 0. Then that would be 1 minus 10, that's negative 9, which is equal to C. So we have determined C. C is negative 9. We can now write the function as Y is equal to, we are picking everything from here. So that would be 3X squared over 2 over 2 minus 2X minus, we now bring in the value of C, minus 9. So that's the function that was differentiated for them to land into this derivative here. Oh, I'm pointing as well. This one here. Okay. That's how we did, baby. I used to go ahead and tap on the notification bell, smash the like button, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Look forward to other videos that I will be posting real soon. Stay blessed.